Hi students, welcome back. This is lesson 28, session 3. If you'll go ahead and turn to page 589, we will get started. On this lesson, we are solving problems about money. Prim buys three muffins at the school bake sale. Each muffin cost 75 cents. She also buys a cookie for 50 cents. Prim gives Mr. Hall a $5 bill. How much change does she get? For this problem, we can use a model to solve. We're going to draw our bar model. And in our bar model, we are going to put five dollars. It says that she buys three muffins and they each cost 75 cents. She also buys a cookie for 50 cents. And then it wants to know how much change does she get? And we'll represent change with a C. Okay. So to do this, we can write an equation. C equals $5 minus 75 cents plus 75 cents plus 75 cents plus 50 cents. If we add these together, I'm going to do it right here, and so I can put them on top of each other. 5, 10, 15. Carry my 1. 7, 14, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So she spent two dollars and seventy-five cents. So five dollars minus two dollars and seventy-five cents. We have to regroup. Ten, minus ten, minus five, is five. Nine minus seven is two. Four minus two is two. So she has two hundred and twenty five dollars left as her change. You could also break this down to how many quarters that she has. So if you break down five dollars into quarters, there's four dollars in each quarter, or four quarters in each dollar. So four times five would equal twenty quarters. And then you could break down each of these into quarters. So you would have three, 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 and two. And then you could subtract three, six, nine, ten, eleven. So you would have twenty minus eleven, which would equal nine. And then you could do nine times twenty-five cents, and you would still get the answer of two dollars and twenty-five cents. So that's two different ways to solve this problem using money. All right, on this page, it is showing you how to solve this problem using quarters. Um, it shows you here the muffins are three quarters each and the cookie is two quarters. It shows you here where um, it's broken down with bills and quarters. So she gets $2 bills back and one quarter back. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. The money Prim uses to pay in dollars. The prices are in cents. Which is the larger unit of money? Well, is dollars or cents bigger? We know that um, dollars are bigger. Explain how you can convert $5 to cents. Well, you can determine, you can um, multiply. How many cents are in five dollars? Depends on what you're multiplying it by, but if we are doing it by 25 cents, we found that um, that if you do it by four, you can do four times five and that there's 20 quarters and five dollars. 
Each muffin costs 75 cents or 75 cents. The cookies cost 50 cents or 50 cents. Fill in the blanks to find out how many cents Prim spent on three muffins and one cookie. Three times 75 cents plus... Seven, oh, oh, 50 cents, so this is for the cookie, equals oh, 03 times, oh, okay, it's wanting us to do 3 times 75, so 3 times 75 would be, 3 times 5 would be 5, carry my 1, 21, 22, so that much, Plus 50 would be 5, 7, 275. Show how to find how many cents Prim gets for change. She gets, so she would have 500 cents. So if they were doing with pennies, this would have been a 500. So 500 minus 275 equals 225. So they were actually wanting to use um, like pennies for this problem instead of quarters. Kind of threw us off there a little bit. Okay, let's go to the next one. Aaron buys one and a half pounds of cheese and four bottles of water. One pound of cheese costs $10. Each bottle of water costs half a dollar. Aaron gives the clerk a $20 bill. How much change does he get? Show your work. All right, in this problem, it is wanting us to do this. So it says he buys one and a half pounds of cheese, and one pound of cheese costs $10. So that means he spent $10 plus half a pound, which is another $5. So he spent $15 on cheese, and it says that he also bought four bottles of water, and each bottle wa of water cost half a dollar. Well, we know that half a dollar is 50 cents, but he bought four of them. So if we do that um, four times, so 50 cents plus 50 cents plus 50 cents plus 50 cents, that would give us $2. Now we're going to add... $15 plus $2 together, which gives us $17, but he started with a $20 bill. So $20 minus $17 leaves us with $3 left over. Keisha has $3,600. Okay. She uses 1900 to pay rent. I'm going to go ahead and solve this first. She uses half of that she uses half of the money that is left to pay bills. Ooh, so what is half of this to pay bills? So 2 won't go into 1, but it will go into 17, 8, 16, left with 1, 5, so 850. Then she puts the rest of the money in her savings account. How much money does Keisha put in her savings account? So she puts $850 in savings. So on this problem, I solved it as I went because it was going in order, and that kind of just made it easier to go as I went in order. Knox has three $10 bills. So three $10 bills means that he has $30. He spends $7.50 on a book. I'm going to do this one the same way. He spends $9.25 on a pizza. How 
How much money does Knox have left? 1325. Sometimes when you're doing these multi-step problems, it's easier just to go little by little and solve each one as you're going. All right. The picture below shows that $5 is the same as $3 in bills plus eight, eight quarters. Cross out the bills and coins to show the amount that Rita spent on lunch in the example above. Okay, up here. Rita buys milk for 50 cents. Okay. A sandwich for $2.50. And a fruit salad for a dollar twenty-five. She pays for her lunch with a five-dollar bill. How much change does Rita get? So she gets three quarters back. So that means she gets seventy-five cents back. How can you find the change that Rita gets by looking at the picture above? Well, from looking at the picture above, what did we do? Well. We can, um, we crossed out and we could skip count by 25s. So 25, 50, 75. We could also multiply 3 times 25 equals 75. Josh buys four movie tickets and two large popcorns. Each movie ticket is $8. So he bought four movie tickets for $8. Each popcorn is $5. He bought two popcorns for $5. How much money did Josh spend? Well, four times eight is... Thirty-two dollars. Two times five is ten dollars. So thirty-two plus ten is forty-two. So Josh spent forty-two dollars. Page five hundred and ninety-four. Mandy has eighty-four dollars in the bank. She also has. 20 half dollar coins. A half dollar coin, you don't really see those anymore, but they are worth 50 cents each. And a $20 bill at home. How much money does she have in all? Okay, so if we have 50 cents and there's 20 of them, that means it takes two of them to make one dollar. So 20 divided by two is 10. So she has $10 and half coins. So she has $84, $20, and $10. Let's add those up. We get 4, 10, 11. So $114. A pound of apples costs $1.30. Sawyer buys two and a half pounds of apples. How much does Sawyer spend on apples? Okay, so he bought two pounds. So he spent a dollar thirty plus a dollar thirty plus half of a dollar thirty. So what would half of a dollar thirty be? Can't go into one, but it can go into thirteen. Two, or I'm sorry, six times. Two times six is twelve. So we have one left, bring down the zero. We have to keep the decimal there, so it would be five. So he spent 65 cents, so plus 65 cents. So we've got to add that up now. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus six is 12. So three twenty-five. He spent three dollars and twenty-five cents. Bree earns three thousand a month. She spends fourteen hundred on rent and bills, 
Oh, okay. This is going to be another one of those that I think would be a good idea to do this. She spends 1400 on written bills. And 700 on groceries. And 200 on a car payment. It's expensive being an adult. And $100 on gas each month. She saves the rest of her money. How much money does Bree save? She saves $600 each month. Regular bananas cost 20 cents each at the supermarket. Organic bananas cost 30 cents each. Suppose you have $3. How many more regular bananas than organic bananas can you buy? So that means we're going to have to divide. So if we have... Mm, or we can add. So if we have 300 pennies, how many times can we take 20 out of 300? So we could skip count by 20 until we get to 300. Or we can divide 300 by 20, but we don't really know how to divide like that yet. So... Let's try, um, let's try skip counting, maybe. 20, or we can do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, for a dollar, I can get 5 regular bananas and I have three dollars so that means I can get 15 regular bananas for three dollars but organic bananas I can 30 60 90 Ooh, okay so oh but there's three so 30 60 90 120 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300. So I can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can only get 10 organic bananas. So that means I can get 5 more bananas. Okay, that's it for this lesson. I will see you back for our next one.